couldn't bother putting my pants on. No point. Just yeah. put me big smocky dress on. Get in that kitchen. Slap, slap, slap like this. Get your, get your breakfast out. Get that out. Yeah. Get outside. Wave them on the bus. Get in. Right, I'll go and get showered and put me knickers on. Hello. Daddy, I love you. Mother thanks you. Right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. Hello and welcome to the It's a Drama podcast. I'm Liz. And I'm Brian. And this week we are back to talk to you all about going to our wedding, well not our wedding, going to Ooh. a wedding in Fiji. That we'd have to go back 20, 20, how many years is it Liz that we got married? So we're going to my sister's wedding. Mm. She's getting married in Fiji. For, uh, it's her second wedding. I shouldn't really, I, I, there was no need to say that really, was it? But no, it's important because this one is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> A second wedding <laughs> this week. Oh, Bri, I just need to decompress a little bit, get myself ready for going to Fiji to a wedding. Yeah, for fu- we're going for seven days, aren't we? We're going. We're going. Yeah, we're, we're, it's a week away, isn't it, Liz? I can't really believe it because when we lived in England, Fiji to me, when we lived in England, was just like this. Oh, you would just have to be a billionaire to go to Fiji, wouldn't you? Would you? Yeah. Because it was like really, it was like, it's an exclusive palm trees, white sand island in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But then when we moved to New Zealand, everyone talks about going to Fiji as if it's like, oh yeah, like say, the same as going to Wales or something. And if you live in England, oh yeah, we're just nipping up to Scotland. Yeah. And that's the seems to be the thing in New Zealand. Everyone seems to go to Fiji. Uh, I think um, it's more like going to Greece when you're in the UK because oh, it's okay. about a three hour flight, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And it's... Yeah, it's not the Do same you know as what? Wales, really, is it? No matter how many times I find it on the map, it's one of those things that you just think, where is it again? What, Fiji? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, it's there. Where? I don't know. Somewhere <laughs> in the South Pacific. <laughs> Do we even know where we're going? It's just up there somewhere. I tell you what, for travellers, I mean, we've been all over the world. We've got a I travel know. blog. We talk about travel all the time. I'm a flipping rubbish. Yeah. It's... Why do we not know where Fiji is? Where is it? Because it, well, it's north of, or well, north of Auckland. Right. Yeah, not that far. Is it to the right of Australia or the no, left of it's Australia? A, it, do you know what? I, and again, I, I think it's up and then to the left a bit because right. I think they might be on a similar time zone to to us here okay. in, in Auckland. Maybe, maybe more Australia. I, do you know what? I don't know. Anyway, my sister, she's lived in New Zealand uh, a couple of years longer than me, about a year longer than us. We came to New Zealand because of my sister, because we came to see her, me and my mum. Um, and... She's getting married again. She's yeah. she's met this lovely guy. Um, his father is was Fijian. His mum is Maori, and he is just the most beautiful, gentle giant you can ever imagine. And I am so so happy that she's marrying him. I just mm. I love him. He's just lovely. He's a great guy. He and really is. They have chosen to have their wedding over in Fiji, mm-hmm. and we didn't know. Can you believe this is just typical us that we were going to a resort? Did we? No, we didn't know that. We didn't. No, we don't normally go to resorts and things. We don't do the touristy, touristy thing normally, do we? We normally like like, like to house sit or couch surf and meet real people. And, mm. you know, uh, it's a bit like, ooh, well, I can't say what it is like because I don't, we haven't been yet. So I'm guessing. And, you know, you, 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 you jump onto YouTube and think, oh, what's going on over there? Well, here's a story. Here's a story. We're going on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, it's Monday today, and yesterday we decided to do a bit of research. <laughs> we were like, we've known for weeks, haven't we? <laughs> we've known for months. But the thing that is, we're going, and yeah. we've only just now thought. I know. Let's go onto YouTube and see where it is. We're actually going. Yeah. What is this resort called? Um, so we've put in the title, and all these vlogs have come up, and it is a full blown. Resort. All inclusive resort. I don't know why I didn't know that. Yeah. I've no idea. The, al- so, the alcohol's not inclusive though, is it, eh? No, but we're gonna buy tons of that at the airport, aren't Apparently. we? That's what my sister yeah. said. She said, just fill your boots. Yeah. Fill your boots at the airport and bring Get it as over. much as you can in, <laughs> duty free. God knows how much that is. Probably just a litre each, isn't it? So that we're, today. we're just being we're we're trying to like, you know, because all all the only thing I care about is my sister having the best day of her life. As long as that happens, yeah. that that is my priority. But Bri, that's one day. Yeah. And then the rest of the day, they're gonna, you know, you've got to be willing to do things like yeah. dancing, 
um, yeah, weaving, with, with the locals, cooking classes, yeah. um, you know, little get, get crab used to racing. baking in the ground. Yeah, all yeah. those things. You're Wrapping gonna, baked potatoes up in tinfoil. You're going to be expected to do. Like yeah. it's it's a it's a full on all inclusive. I keep saying all inclusive because actually that word Pop really me. frightens me. <laughs> but, yeah, but we have been on an all inclusive where everything was included. Where? Jamaica. Oh, for our honeymoon. Yeah. Yeah, but that was different because we just went off on our own. I know. This, and we did we're going to be it. expected to socialise yeah. by. But this is the difference, isn't it? Because we haven't planned this. So we, we've we never been on holiday that someone else has planned before. Do you know what? That's a really Apart good point. Apart from mum and dad. Like, you know, when you were a kid. Yeah. That's it, isn't it? Like, you know? Maybe that's why we're feeling so apprehensive. It is, because we... We're not we, in control. And that's why you don't know anything about it, because you haven't bucked it and thought, oh, I really mm. want to go to Fiji. Because it, it's a big destination in New Zealand in the winter is to go to Fiji because it's a tropically islandy thing. I mean, at the moment here, it's about 19 degrees. Um, and there it's about 26 to 28 degrees. So mm. a lot warmer. For some reason, I just thought... Centigrade, that is. When, when my sister said, oh, she's getting married in Fiji and we're going to mm. go over and there's, uh, I think there's 12 of us going and we're all going to go over and I'm going to be married on the beach. And for some reason, I just thought... Oh, we'll have our own room. I knew we were, you know, because obviously we've booked the accommodation. We're going to have our own little mm. hut on the beach, you know, like a room on the beach that looks idyllic. It looks beautiful. And I thought there'd just be a restaurant that we maybe we'd go out to, maybe a couple of restaurants. Yeah. And we'd. I didn't know that it was, you know, like a, a resort resort with yes. other tourists. Well, ter tourists, because it's a little <laughs> island, isn't it? In Fiji. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that that's the thing isn't it you know oh, there's a boat turns up and there's a few guitarists on the beach welcoming them in and then they come in and do all this stuff so that that's going to be a bit weird isn't it why well it just will be won't it you know it's probably 30 40 people turning up at once into the resort that's just been nice and sleepy and then playing music and fire dancing yeah, and stuff yeah i don't know how that's going to work out a couple of the vlogs have said it's they call it the robinson crusoe island that's the tourist name isn't yes, it? yes and it's going to be idyllic it's going to be so beautiful there's palm trees but every night there's like a party yeah but that's what we're going for it's a wedding party isn't it mm -hmm. isn't it liz yep yep <laughs> <laughs> so what i'm wondering bry yep. is if i stay in the room with my kindle every yes. night yeah are you willing to go out on behalf of both of us? Put a grass skirt on, yep, do whatever I'll you need to just, do, Brian. Yeah, but you know I'll do anything. You, you will. Know, it's and just, you just show willing and just yep. make it look like we're a really sociable, fun, happy yep. couple. Um, just all you need to say, Brian, is if anyone asks where I am, just say oh, she's not feeling too I'll good just, at the She's moment. getting a bit old. She's Reese. just crying That's in the party her bedroom. Time, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just... We're... we're, 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 we're planning and getting yeah. excited aren't we Brian you've just got to remember that spirit that Doris had in um Gavin and Stacey who's Doris what the next door neighbor oh yeah the old lady yeah. why what well, did she just say? have that spirit what do you mean drink spirit well, do, you, do you want to come and have a drink to be honest I'm totally twatted well, don't say that yeah, but that's what she said I know yeah, yeah. he's uh, talking about Gavin uh, and uh, Stacey the Welsh you won't yeah. if you're American you won't know what then on earth we're talking about yeah it's a BBC uh, yeah uh, 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 what uh, you're saying is just go with the flow and be happy and yeah. just and uh, Bri you know me I'm all for the happiness I know but it's not going to be the same as Thailand is it you know it's not where we, you're just doing your own thing because you're going to feel like you need to You'd have the energy to pass it on sort of thing. And that's what I'm worried about a little bit. Why? That I'm not going to have the energy to... Bri, I've watched those vlogs. My yeah. sister, she's 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 a party animal. She does like the disco she music. She does like the old disco, my yeah. sister. How, how much younger is she? <laughs> she it wouldn't matter. <laughs> She'll still like the disco when she's 110. I think she will. She she's likes just, disco drinks. She does. And she likes to disco And she likes to music. party. Yeah. She just likes Girls to have Girls just want to have fun. Yeah, that's what that's I mean. That's what she is, isn't she? She's a, a real 80s. And are like polar opposites. I'm more like, let's just meet. Look, look, look I'll just give you a nice massage, and wind you down but, nicely. So here's the thing, Liz. Go on, Brian. You know, how did we meet? We met at a disco. There you but go. So I was what happened? 16 years old. Well, you know, what do you mean? You, yeah, but what's happened since then? I've got old. <laughs> Been married to you. That's what's happened. No, Brian, I just like to take things easy. I just like yeah. my idea of a lovely holiday is to just sit in my bedroom on my own with a nice glass of wine. 
<laughs> looking out the window. Talk to you. Maybe do a podcast. Yeah, Look out the, the window. Sun go down. Yeah, have my yeah. book. You know, something to eat. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Have a sunset swim. Yeah. Um, and here's the here's the other thing, isn't mm-hmm. it? When go you on. when you're just going to have something to eat. You can't just go when you want to. You have to go because it's ding ding dinner it's served. It's communal. It's com- did you know that? I did. I looked. At, I looked at the dining room and it was just big benches. Yeah. And it's like hello. Eating with other there? people. Yeah. yeah. Other tourists eating next to us. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be easy, is it? Oh, don't say that. Yes, it uh, is. It, 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 it is going to be easy. Is okay. it? Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and what's the food in Fiji? I haven't got a clue what they eat. i tell you what, the food looks fabulous, actually. Is it? I'm hoping, well, like you were mentioning earlier, you skimmed over it, but I don't know if this is a, I thought this was a Maldi tradition, but they're saying that it's a Fijian tradition where they bury the food like a hungi under the ground, Mm -hmm. put hot rocks on it, Mm -hmm. cover it, it, and cook it all, which if it is that, that is divine. It's good stuff, That is lovely, lovely food. What do they do before tinfoil, though? Um, I don't know. Mm, I anyway. think they just wrapped it in like flags and, you know, yeah. old socks maybe. Yeah. And just <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and also there's going to be loads of seafood because it's an island. It's got to be. I've seen crayfish, crabs. Yeah. That's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not worried about the food. It's just eating the food with the other people that's bothering me. I know. And that, but it's going to be different, isn't it? To see, see what it, it is. But they, they have crab races as well, don't they, Ailas? Did I ever tell you the time when I went to Tenerife with my ex-boyfriend when I was... Well, well before you met me. Yeah, before I met you, in I had the, a boyfriend. In the disco. I had or a boyfriend. Or did I know you? Yeah, we I knew each I, other. Did, yeah, because I? I went round to your house the night before he was leaving and I think we had a little kiss and everything. You said, I'll still be here for I you when you I didn't think we had back. a little kiss because you were probably only were 16 I was 17, time. actually. You were 17, yeah. You? yeah, and I went to Tenerife with my then boyfriend, who was a lovely guy, and he was yeah. a really lovely guy. But his mum, gosh, is as common as muck, his mum. She was, Bri. She might be listening to it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Maureen. She's coming to the disco. Actually, she's hard as Maureen. So she actually, is. I really like you, Maureen. Yeah, from Rochdale, <laughs> Please I think. don't come and find me and bash my, <laughs> bash my brains in. No, she was. She was just salt of the earth. Oh, she's not, not common as muck. No, she's not common as muck. She's a lovely, lovely woman. Lovely woman. She's done, yeah. yeah. And she's from Manchester. Is, well, is, she's from just, Rochdale. Just before you go into the story, can I just have one little story? Because she used to have a little bed and breakfast, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Little hotel. Yeah, it wasn't called Stans, but it was something like that. Yeah. And what did she do bef- after she'd cooked breakfast? Oh, it was I've just... I've never heard anything like this in my life. Yeah, she was... I mean, this Maureen, this lovely lady, absolutely lovely, salt of the earth. <laughs> Salt of the earth is Maureen, and she's you know she's a, a very very large lady as well. You know she yes. liked her she liked her grub. She yeah, did. Well, she liked what he did back then. Yeah, she liked her pies mm. and stuff, and she just liked her food. And you know, if Maureen was in the kitchen, like no one else could fit in. It was just you just had to wait till she came out. It's like a fifteen bedroom hotel. Yeah, she had a small. The Small B&B. hotel in Newquay yeah. in Cornwall, and oh gosh, I shouldn't have said the name, should I? I shouldn't have said the town, but it's no, no it's no no secret. Oh right, yeah, yeah, because she's lovely, lovely, lovely lady. And yeah. um, we had this, she had this small hotel, and because I was going out with a boy, uh, a son, a boyfriend, her son was the. Um, he used to work behind the bar in the in the hotel, and her daughter as did, worked as a chambermaid, and I got a job as a waitress. Yeah. And um, this one Saturday morning, she said, you know, can you come in early because the coach is leaving and we're saying goodbye to the guests. And so I think I got there about 7.30 in the morning. the traffic. Yeah, got mm-hmm. there at 7.30 in the morning. I had my little waitress outfit on and stuff. And my, my, my boyfriend, her son, was in the kitchen doing the dishes. He was trying to pull in and do his weight, you know, pull his weight and stuff. Anyway, she said she served all the breakfast. She slapped it on the plate, the old breakfast. Few, few, As you do. A few pieces. Two sausages. Well, yeah. one sausage, a piece of bacon and an egg. That's it. <laughs> a sausage, a piece of bacon and an egg. I mean, we're going back to the 80s here. Yeah. I mean, if you and ever if went... You're, if you're a bit flash, you'd half a tomato. Yeah. There was no tomato, though. It was oh, just was sausage, that? egg and a bit of beans, maybe. maybe beans, yeah. Yeah, and a piece of piece of toast, and that was it. And it was just like, take it out, slap it in front of the guests. Yeah. But a portion. And hurry up, quickly eat it so we can get the tables cleared, get you on your coach, and get you on your way back to up north so we can yeah. get the next coach load in. And we we served them. They, they, they were out, the guests. And it, like I say, it was custom. to We had to go out onto the step of the hotel, onto the road, and wave all the guests goodbye on the, on the Wish bus. Wish me luck if you wave me goodbye. <laughs> and we stood out there, and we waved them off, and the bus pulled away. And, and Maureen, who's lovely, she said, right, I'll go and put me knickers on. And she'd served... 
the breakfast with no knickers on. With no knickers on, Brian. I see. She'd rolled out of bed that morning. Yeah. Didn't bother putting her pants on. No point. Just yeah. put me big smocky dress on. Get in that kitchen. Slap, slap, slap like this. Get your get your breakfast out. Get that out. Yeah. Get outside. Wave them on the bus. Get in. Right. I'll go and get showered and put me knickers on. It's nice that, isn't it? <laughs> She's a lovely woman. <laughs> Absolutely love. I, yeah. In fact, if I hadn't married you, I probably would have married him and you, she would have been would have my mother-in-law. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so yeah. The same woman. Oh God. What has she done? Can we edit it? No, you can't. No. Well, I'm we, not we, saying we, any more then because what if she doesn't listen Larry. to this? <laughs> <laughs> what about the Fanta? Not the Fanta. The tango on the, uh, the fishing trip. Oh, Brian, you love these stories. Oh, you love it. I know because it's just... You Do know, you know why you love it? Because it's real. Because I chose you instead of him. It, maybe not. Isn't it? Well, you you could have had Ron, but no. You, I'm sorry, you could have had Larry, but you got Ron instead. Anyway, there I'd have go. Ron over Larry any day. Yeah. But anyway, so this same family, like I say, wonderful, very lovely family. Yeah. <laughs> they, invited, they invited me along one year to Tenerife. They were going to Tenerife. They were closing the hotel down mm. in the winter. And in the in the winter in Newquay, yeah. all the hoteliers used to close up and they'd either... Well, you did the same because your mum and dad owned a hotel, didn't they, Bri? Yeah, they did, yeah. That's and what I said, you know, butter portions and everything. Yeah, yeah. and you, they'd go H off to and Spain. H&C in every room. Yeah, go yeah. off to Spain or wherever. We did, we, 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 the first year that we, we moved to, to Newquay it was 78, I think it was. And that November, I had one year left to go in school, took a month out and went to Spain. Yeah, well, that's what they did. They used Amazing. to close the hotel and go away. Yeah. And um, if you just think, I was just going to say to you, if you, I don't know if you've ever watched Faulty Towers or not, but if you just think Faulty Towers is like the Ritz it would compared be. to Stan's Hotel. It would have been luxury, <laughs> Faulty Towers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're closing the hotel and my boyfriend, who I'm madly in love with, is going to go off to Tenerife for two weeks with his mum and dad and sister. And I just couldn't bear it. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, shall I ask my mum if you can come? Because if you pay for your own flight, which is... Which, it was probably about eighty pound back there. Yeah. It was so cheap. Yeah. You can come and you can share a room with my sister, and we can all go over. And I was so excited. My mum really didn't want me to go. Mm. She's like, "Are you sure you want to go to Tenerife with them?" And I said, "Yeah, I love him. I want to marry him, and I love his mum." And she said, "Okay, then. Will you go over then? Go and have a nice time in Tenerife." Anyway, we turn up in Tenerife, and they'd brought an extra suitcase. Right, so we all had. A, we were in, we were all allowed one suitcase, but Maureen had an extra suitcase with her. And I thought, oh, it must just be like she's brought extra clothes or something. Yeah. We get to the little crappy condo that we're staying in, in Tenerife, flipping docile, absolute docile. Oh, it was awful. Luxury. It was It was so cheap and horrible. <laughs> it was awful, Bri. We get there. She heaves this flipping suitcase on the bed. Yeah. She had her knickers on. She yeah. heaved the suitcase right on the bed. And she opened it up and inside, and I kid you not, yeah. right? I kid you not here. Yeah. There was about 50 tins of spaghetti oops, <sighs> spaghetti oops and sausage. Probably some ketchup to go on top <laughs> as well. <laughs> and she said, I'll tell you what, I'm not eating the crap they serve here. And that was it. Yeah. We were in self-catering and she had about 50 tins of beans and sausage, uh, spaghetti yeah. oops and sausage. Was it Heinz? I don't know. Ooh. No, probably not. Probably yeah. Spa's own. Yeah, there you go. And that was it. That was, and that gives you an idea of the kind of holiday yeah. that was. But those sort of people that went, you know, they went in the morning to the English bread and bre the, the English breakfast, wasn't it? Oh god, yeah. And that yeah. was it. It's like you're in you're in Spain. Go and get some paella. <laughs> and do you know yeah. what else she did as well? But oh, she was. I mean, looking back, she was just a character. She was such a character. I mean. I was very young, so I didn't, you know, I was like 16, 17, whatever, but she was such a character. And I remember she was an alcoholic. I mean, poor lady. I mean, yeah. she would drink because married, you well, know. That's why the knickers never went on. Probably. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and we went down to the bar and we're there, me and a, a daughter, you know, and a, a, a son, and we're trying to be all grown up, but we're, we're there and we're allowed the orange juice. And she leans over to the barman, the Spanish barman. Yeah. And she said, Bonjour. <laughs> Je m'appelle Maureen. <laughs> and I just was... <laughs> You're doing A-level French, aren't you, a -levels? <laughs> Oh, I just thought, what? I'm not going to marry you. I'm not going to marry you, John. Yeah. I'm not. I, not I, I happen, really like it? you. I know you're really nice, but mm. I can't get married and come into this family. No. So, yeah. You kind of know, don't you, sometimes? You do. It's just like, no, I, I don't want to not be associated. because No, like it's say, not be associated. It's just, but... 
But it's real life, though, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. And when I, when I laugh and Brits say... Brits abroad. It is Brits it abroad. It was Brits abroad, wasn't You know, it? you see these TV programmes, and you're like, oh, it's not like that. That's as if that yeah. would happen. As if they would take 50 cans of beans, spaghetti hoops on holiday yeah. to spend. But they did. They yeah. did. Bangers and beans by Heinz. Yeah. That's coming with us. Anyway, so what are we going to take to Fiji with us? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just thinking, what would we take? But, yeah, apart from the booze. We've only got one case as well. We're only allowed one case on the plane. We are. And we are trying Between to think, like, what do you wear? You know, do we, mm. t- is it going to be, I don't think it's going to be dressy, but I also don't want to be going and having my dinner in, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah. know, Bri. I but feel out of control. You get a free half an hour massage. I'll tell you what you do get. Yeah. Well, bottle of water in the room. Yeah. And tell you what else you do get there. What? Three gigs in per room. What does that mean? Three gigabytes of data. Is that a lot? Is that for six days or is that every day? Is that a lot or not? No, it's nothing really. It's a couple of videos on YouTube maybe. To watch or upload? If, yeah, or, you know, say you're watching Match of the Day, mm. that would be it. Go on. See, you sound like a Brit abroad now. What? Why do you want to go to Fiji well, and watch Match of the Premier Day? Premier League goes everywhere Sado? with me. Well, it's that time of year. I think we should just go because this has been, oh, to be honest... It, it, I've been like this on this yeah. Fiji holiday. Do you know what the good thing is? What? It's just the FA Cup this weekend, so it doesn't really matter. Don't watch football when you're I won't in Fiji. Be football, Honestly, that yeah. is you might as well just take right. some cans of spaghetti oops if I'll, you're going to watch football. I'll take football. some beer and some peanuts and watch match of the day, eh? Mm. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're going to be doing the dancing with the grass skirts. That's what you're going to be doing. Yeah, yeah. we'll I'll get that on what, video. Right? I'll tell you what. What's that? There's some hunky men over there. There is some hunky women as well. Mm. <laughs> A bit like Maureen, <laughs> with grass skirts. <laughs> and I no, don't think they wear knickers either. No, there are, Bri. What? I was looking at the video on the men. They're flipping. That's what I showed, I showed. I, I showed one of, to Sonny last night. And you look at it five years ago, and they were, they were big guys. As in, they've, they've had a few, you know, whatever it is. What? And a then, few what? I, I don't know, cakes and things. But then the last one we saw, which was only like six months ago, flipping Captain America there. They've trimmed down. Well, you know why? Yeah. Because the boatloads of tourists are coming in. Yeah, what do they call it? He's shredded. Oh, is that what Sonny yeah, said? He's shredded. Go. He's shredded. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so that will be nice. But um, yeah. And yeah. of course, the other thing, and I know we spoke to you about this um, last time we just talked about the wedding, was just the whole, you know, the whole thing of, oh, what, what's it going to be like without yeah. my mum there and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying to make jokes of it and just be like, I just want it to be fun, you know? Yeah, but I think it will be, Liz, you know. But like I say, it's not the same as, um, you know, it's not the same as Thailand and stuff like that, you know. But I think all it is that you're going to have to do is get into a little bit of a, a sort of routine, mm. you know. Because um, that, that's what really worked for you over there, wasn't it? You know, what you can, what, what was it that worked for you? Do you know what, you? Brian? Pardon? What? Do you know what, what? And what was it that worked for you when you are in Thailand in the mornings? Oh, well, it's just my my normal things, just my, you know, my meditation and my notes and just, and that's what I was saying to Tess. She was like, I was telling Tess about it and I said, you know, about not having mum then. She said, do you know what? She's so wise. She is. She's so wise. I know. And she just said, you've just got to think of just, just relax and let someone else is going to take care of it all for you. And you know what she said? She said, and mama is there. She said well, she she's always spirit. there with yes. you. Yeah, she and will Which be. I thought was really lovely. Yeah. And also she reminded me of, um, and I was going to say about this last time, because I have been using, well, forever, I've always used a, a meditation app, you know, like one of these, it's called Headspace. And I was talking to Tess about it. Yeah. And she started using Headspace as well. And they've got, if, if you don't know what Headspace is, it's a, it's a an app that you download and, the guy is English. I forgot to... T- I, 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 yes. Every time I always say about meditation, and I people s- have reached out to me and said, what do you use? And it's called Headspace anyway. And the guy is English. He's called Andy Puddicombe, I think his name is. And he just does these most beautiful meditations. And Tessa said to me, mm-hmm. she said, just in the morning when you get up, she said, just listen. She says, just listen to Andy. Just do your Andy. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she said, and just do your notes, you know, your journaling and just relax. She said, just relax and know that, you know, it, it's all OK. So yeah, and it sets you up for the day, doesn't her. it? Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I remember using Headspace 
on around my fiftieth birthday because we when we were down in Wanaka we just, you know we were away on it by ourselves and obviously not in a resort it was just a bed and breakfast wasn't it and we were I remember that yeah and we just that's when we we first started doing that meditation together yeah, wasn't it we yeah. just you know you you lay in the bed um, you'd have your breakfast you come back up and you just want the day to go great and. 15 minutes, half an hour. I know. You're done, aren't you? Yeah. You know, and it's fantastic. Yeah. And so, like I say, I'm telling you this because someone asked me the other day on a comment, you know, on a comment when they emailed me, and they were saying about the things that had helped them, and they were asking me what meditation. So it's called Headspace. Um, and we do have um, a link that we can put down in the description for you. Um, yeah. So I'll make sure that I do that. Just, it's brilliant. They've got like a free trial it's, it's cheap as anything it's not expensive yeah, it's, not, but it's not super expensive you no can, you can monthly or yearly or whatever it is it's not really cheap but i just love his accent i love and his no, accent because he's, calm. he's very calm it's english and i don't know i, I just he's just very reminds me of you a little bit by yeah but this is the thing you need you need to associate something you know because when we were in thailand we were we, we went to a um an aroma meditation which was burning um like an incense wood and uh, sandalwood and stuff and and that's what this guy said he said you know you you go into the temple and it's the same incense every day year after year after year so when you come in there you associate that smell with meditation mm -hmm. and that's the same thing with andy you associate his voice and you go calm because oh here it is mm -hmm. and that's a great way to meditate and that's why i I think it works. Yeah, you know, it really does. So yeah, we just wanted to <clears throat> touch on that because I've been working really hard on myself and trying to work on my mindset of for the last few weeks of just it just feels like I'm taking a big step forward by going to Fiji yes. and for my sister as well. She's my little sister. I'm very protective of her. And I want her day to be absolutely perfect. But the whole six days to be perfect. And, she's and staying afterwards as well for yeah, the five she days, is. isn't she? And yeah. that's what I was saying in the last podcast. It was like, I don't want to be crying and letting her down and all that. And I know I wouldn't let her down. But anyway, so all that to say, I've been doing lots of journaling, talking to my daughter, Tess. She's very wise. She's just lovely. And also reminding myself that I can take this meditation and my journaling over to Fiji and still keep mm. that routine going and just, you know, just keep that to be grounded and of course i'll have yeah. you well, as long as you're not down there well uh, yeah, boozing i'll up be up with, with daryl you know, I know yeah, yeah exactly yeah, come on, show, me, show me this car for what does it do yeah yeah so yeah that's what we wanted to bring to you today i mean it's probably a short podcast but it's just the 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 apprehension of going somewhere that we haven't like you said it's not until you said that that we haven't arranged we haven't we've got total no control of this whatsoever and I'm, I'll be really interested to see if we like it and obviously we're going to like the holiday because it's my sister's wedding but to see if we like the experience of being in a resort I know yeah because I mean it's a bit like when you go on a cruise because you know, we did a cruise up into Norway didn't we and um you know, your favourite bit was bingo, but I don't think they're going to do bingo. Oh, I love bingo. You love bingo, don't but you? But I will be gambling on those crabs. Yeah. They get li they've got little crabs. Yeah, it's a bit weird, though. I know. I thought that. A, a jar of crabs and then they tip it in the middle. Don't and they've say got to, that. They've got to make a run for the, across the sand. I don't I know. know. It I just know. seems a bit weird. I know, I know, but don't say that. All right. But because it's one of the things that they're doing and I we know. don't want to be stood there being one of those sort, do we? No. Oh, no, no, no. It's cruel. Yeah. No. But it is a bit. It's a bit weird. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it just is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, they're alive, those things, mate. They don't want to be in a pipe pot. I know. Yeah. It's just a bit weird. I don't know, but yeah. it's But it's... I'm not oh, Brian, funny. we're yeah. going to have to change our ways. We're going to have to change our ways. We can't go over there. You frowning. Look at your face now. Look at you. Frowning. Yeah. Oh, it's weird. It's weird. You can't uh, do that, but You've just got to go with the flow and you've got to be Fiji and you've got to be, yeah, baby... I'm I'm free and okay. easy. Yeah, bring on the give me cover. give me the skirt. I've got. I'll get me knickers off. <laughs> right, we are going to leave it there for you. We will be back next time to tell you how the Fijian wedding was, yeah. whether Bry got his knickers on or off, and um, but that's the thing. Do we take the microphones with us? Well, I really think we should. I think we should do a podcast over mm. there. I really do because I yeah. think it's very valuable as well for our New Zealand audience. If you haven't been to Fiji, what's it like? Because we've lived here for 15 years. I have got not a clue. I have, That's not very good English. I don't have any... I don't know what it's going to be like, Brian. No, you haven't got to, salt <laughs> to the earth. Yeah, salt to the earth, that yeah. Maury. Um, so, yeah, maybe we will take the the microphones and do a podcast over there and bring, bring you Fiji, bring yeah. Fiji to you. Yeah, exactly. 
Probably not these ones, just the wireless goes. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. But until next time, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your comments and your emails and your lovely reviews that you've left over on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts. We read them all. I'd love to spend the time and read them all out here. And we do sometimes do that. But thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for your support, for your kindness and for your patience and just for being here with us. I say patience because I know sometimes we talk about <laughs> talk about the same things that we, you know, we keep going over the same things. But I that's just, life. That's where we are at the moment. It is, you know, right. It's, we're not current affairs, are we? It's just current Liz and Bry. Yeah, That's exactly. It. There we go. And don't forget to check out Headspace. It's helped me massively. It helps Tess massively. If you've got kids that want to try it, they've got a family plan, just check that out. And also don't forget to check out my email newsletter. I would love to have you over there. It's free. I pour out my heart over there. I just, it's full of stories. And if you like that kind of thing, then I know you would love it. So that's um, front row www.itsadrama.com forward slash front row as in front row seats so yeah if you haven't joined me over there I'd love to have you with me um, this yeah, is the um, longest outro ever yeah but... and don't forget <laughs> uh, you know it's www.itsdrama.com forward slash headspace if you want to have a peek at that app as well yes yes yeah. do that because it's absolutely wonderful and um, we are affiliates for them just to let you know that but yeah we we use them, we love them, we trust them, and that's the only ones that we would ever promote. So yeah, yeah. we only promote things that we like. We do. Yeah. That's why we're Not promoting we Maureen. To. Yeah, there we go, Maureen. <laughs> Stands a tell. Until is. next time, keep being you. My heart beats with yours. Thank you so much for being here, and I will speak to you soon. Yeah, so kia kaha, stay strong, kia u, stay true. And I'm going to try some carver when I go to Fiji. Yes. Carver. If you don't know what carver is, check it out. Mm. Yeah, so there we go. See you next time. Bye. Bye. What would you do if you were traveling together with your partner and you had nowhere to stay? Let's say you had no money and you had nowhere to stay for the night and then one time you meet this really nice couple and they say, come back and stay at our place. Only just you don't tonight. invite someone back yeah. to your house. Say you can share your room and then flipping go and have a... This week we've got a special treat for you. We have recorded our audio podcast for you to join in on a very private conversation that we'd like to share with you. So sit back and enjoy all the shenanigans that have been happening throughout the week with Liz and Brian.